Hi, it's FCA. See? I am going to be sharing with you today, July 10th. It's Sunday, and I figured I would share with you what I do because I had surgery a couple weeks ago, and um, I can't go up and down stairs. I can't put any pressure on my foot, and I haven't left the house except for my one doctor's appointment. So how do I stop the insanity from setting in? I'm going to share that with you today. I'm currently on a scooter. Uh -huh. So this is how I will be wheeling myself around. So if you're wondering how I'm moving, that's it. Uh, pretty slow moving. I don't have a lot of space. It's been a constant problem for the last two years. But uh, let's get to it. I didn't stop it like I thought I did. Okay, so I'm sure what lots of people are wondering because I'm a person who's passionate about working out if I can get any workouts in. And I wasn't allowed to work out for the first 10 days after my surgery, uh, but then I could do light stuff. That's what I was told. So I have been sticking to that. So what I can do is when I'm on my bed, I can't get myself up off of the floor <laughs> by myself, but on my bed, and I know I'm not getting as intense of a thing, but I can do ab stuff. Like these are suitcases. I can do elbow to knees, bicycle crunches. I can do normal crunches. I have to have this foot on top though, uh, because I can't, I'm not supposed to hit the inside of this if I can help it. And I can do these. I can do this. I just have to be really careful to do the butterfly kicks and stuff like that. So I can do those things. I can also, use weights to do things like this. Sometimes I have somebody bring me up heavier weights, but I can do overhead press. I can do curls, side curls, hammer curls. I can do arm raises. You know, upper body is really not an issue. I don't have any problems there. I can do, I, these are called Arnold presses for reasons I don't know. I can do lunch trays also don't know the reason for that name but I do have sessions where I do that and my lower back hurts a lot from sitting all the time so I have this block and what I will do is I can lay this like this and having it there really helps take the pressure off of my shoulders and my back and so I do work out a little bit. I can't go uh, super intense, like I said, but it is something I can do. I also have this little passion project that I've been working on. There's some more in there because I don't have space. <laughs> but yeah, I've been working on that. One of the best things is all the reading I've gotten done. I got to read the entire Janet Ivanovich series. The last one is right there. It's Tempting 28 called Game On, and I'm really excited. I want to reread this one again because it's my absolute favorite, the first one. These two are next in line to get read. I read some of these comic books. That's why some of them look kind of askew, but these are the two books here. I'm currently working on this book um, called This. It <laughs> started out okay, but... I'm in the middle of it, and I'm kind of just like, I'm struggling to get through it, because um, it's weirdly written. It's not bad, it's just a little odd, and the main character is uh, kind of psychotic, <laughs> so <laughs> she scares me. This has become a new project, because this was in the attic, and I don't know if it was just in a precarious place or if when the kids were playing hide and go seek they knocked it over and didn't say anything but either way i lucky for me it didn't like shatter it just sort of broke at the hinges so it's it's going to be something that's repairable i'm still upset about it um and the reason why i suspect the kids who didn't say anything is because they did the same thing to one of my uh little light up toys over there i don't know if you can see it the torch they were playing with it and then somewhere somehow they dropped it and part of it broke and they didn't tell me 
they just left it somewhere and then when I picked it up I found it and I was like rude <laughs> yeah I've been doing repairs <laughs> um some of them were not as well known but speaking of crafty things I've definitely been doing that I've been trying to refix this old little hand puppet of Belle uh, I have a squishy but I don't have fabric paint because it's upstairs <laughs> This is a Create This book. I've been using my Posca paint pens like crazy. So this is like a prompt book where it tells you something to do at the top and you fill it out. So there's a whole bunch of things in there that I can do and have been uh, taken care of. I've also been doing this book, Mind Stretchers. I have learned that I am okay at Sudoku and terrible at finishing crosswords. <laughs> Like, every crossword just has, oh, I'm gonna, oh boy. But, you know, the Sudoku I've actually been doing okay at. And I've also been doing little crafty things, like I made this cute little bow. And, uh, yeah, that uh, that has been uh, my life. <laughs> And, of course, I've been, like, watching YouTube, playing a few little video games. Playing the video games is a little bit hard uh, because I have to keep my leg extended. I can't leave it down because I can't let it touch the bottom of the foot. So, <laughs> I can only have, like, my leg extended out this way while the computer is in front of me to comfortably reach everything. So... I play for a little bit, but then I have to move it because I need to put my leg straight in front of me. And I can't do that with how the bottom of this is with where the wheels need to go. <sighs> so, yes, uh, mostly just busy work. I, I like some of the projects that I had, I've been dying to try to get through and get started, but I hadn't had time to work on stuff because of work and so I this has been a great time for me to catch up on activities <laughs> and stuff like that I'm still not ready to go back to work I kind of dread it <laughs> um yeah it's it had become toxic in the last few months and I don't think it's going to get better upon my return so <laughs> that's what I've been doing uh, tell me what you do when you're kind of in a stuck at home like what did you do during quarantine or if you've had similar surgery kind of things what did you get up to you let me know and i will talk to you next time bye <laughs> i trusted both of you <laughs> and now look well, they hold their hand <laughs>